Alright guys, welcome back. We have another question from chapter 2 of Beer and Johnson textbook and we have these two ropes that are pulling out the stake off the ground and we know that the angle alpha in here is 30 degrees and we need to determine by trigonometry in the A part the magnitude of the force P so that the resultant of these two forces be vertical and in the B part we need to determine the corresponding magnitude of the resultant. So if we start the question by triangle row, so we have the first force, which is the 120 Newton force, and we're going to go with the second force, which is P. Now we need to figure out the magnitude, and if you want to show the resultant, I'm going to show it in red. Uh, this will be the resultant that connects the, the tail of the first vector to the head of the second one. Let's call it R. And we know that our R has to be vertical and we have some angles in here we know this angle right here is 25 degrees we know the alpha in the question is also 30 degrees so if that's the angle alpha we have here alpha 2 so the angle that is in there is what we have in here which is alpha or 30 degrees let's call this angle in here beta and let's figure out the the unknowns that we have in here so we're going to do the law of signs in order to find the unknown since we have a lot of information in here for the magnitude of the vector so the first one that we have we have the 120 newton force and the angle that we have for 120 newton force is uh, the angle 30 which is sine of 30 degrees and if we want to find the p we'll have p over the angle would be what we have in here or sine of 25 degrees and from here we can find the p easy enough which will be 120 times sine of 25 divided by sine of 30 degrees so this is easy enough to calculate with the calculator and if we do that we'll get 101.4 and that would be the force p that we are looking for and this is the answer for the A part of the question. And in the second part, we need to find the magnitude of the resultant. If we want to use the law of sines, we have to have beta in order to find the R to use the law of sines. But what we know that is uh, the sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180. And what we have is one of the angles are 30, the other one is 25, and the last one is the beta which is what we are looking for and we can find beta in here which will be 125 degrees and there we go everything's good now we can just do our law of signs in here again which let's go with the 120 that we have so 120 newton divided by sine of 30 we can also use p over sine of 25 too now that we have p and on the other side we'll have r over this time sine of beta which we know is 125 degrees and this is great because we just have to find 120 times sine of 125 degrees divided by sine of 30 and from here we can find the second unknown 196.6 newton using a calculator and that would be the answer for the b part of the question where we needed to find the magnitude of the result so that's pretty much it for this one uh thanks for watching let me know if you have any specific question or if anything is not clear in this one obviously in this question we needed to use trigonometry but we could have gone with the x and y component of each of these two forces yeah maybe that would be a good practice to go with x and y components and let me know if you got the same answer or no you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one